Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Microsoft Rewards Guide. So you all may recall at the end of last week, I had a video where I mentioned the announcement that the Microsoft Rewards team was going to be removing the Rewards on Xbox app that a lot of us have used for quite a few years now. And all of the point opportunities were gonna be moving over into the new Rewards Hub section of the Xbox console. So we're going to take a look at that today, and they mentioned over the weekend that they would be adding some new streak points into this section. So those have appeared today for most of us that use this app, and if you take a look here, you'll see the weekly console bonus. So you can tell that it's a five-day streak here that resets every Monday, so you have to play five out of the seven days to earn this. You'll earn 250 rewards points for completing it. And then if you're a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber like I am, then you'll get an additional 25 points. So 275 points for the week. So this is a good thing. We don't know if there will be any changes in subsequent weeks to this. You know, if you'll earn more points week over week, that remains to be seen. For the time being, it looks like it's just going to be a straight 275 points for each week and like it says it resets every monday so in order to earn this you'll want to play five out of the seven days of the week and collect the bonus so one of the things i wanted to talk about is if you are not a console player you know if you're a person who maybe plays on the pc and doesn't have access to a console i think the way that you'll want to do this is by using cloud gaming that should hopefully work for you and allow you to get this console bonus completed each week so i just wanted to share my experience with it using it for the first time today so what i did is mostly on the mobile app i was monitoring it so i opened up my mobile app I went to my profile by clicking on my avatar at the lower right. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the play a game on console points there for 10 and the 275 that we've just been looking at. So you can see under day one this morning when I first looked at this, it's kind of a light blue there. I think some people have had a little difficulty with determining you know, whether this has actually been completed or not, but basically if it's a light blue or like an empty blue or a gray, then you know you haven't completed it yet. But after it changes to a solid blue, then you'll know that you have completed it. So we'll see that at the end. But basically what you wanna do is go ahead and launch a game on the console. So I just went over to my Series S and I opened up the game Tome, which is available on Game Pass. And we've been playing through a bunch of that here on the channel and completing all the achievements in the game for extra rewards points. But I opened it up and let it run for about 10 minutes or so. And then I just went back over to the mobile app to see what progress I had made. And like I said, after about 10 minutes or so, so I just refreshed the page here and then I clicked on claim rewards. So the first points that I got were for playing a game on console. So that is not the streak points. I waited about five more minutes because the console bonus had not completed yet. So you may need to wait maybe about 15 minutes or so possibly. Just keep refreshing your app after about 15 minutes have passed and then hopefully you should see the completion for day one. So you can see it's the darker blue right there and it's a filled in sort of dash there. I think it's a little bit easier to understand this interface on the console. You can see much more clearly that there's a light blue completion and that day two, three, four, and five are in dark gray. So I would probably recommend to the rewards team that they might tweak that a little bit for the mobile app, make it a little clearer on there like it is on the console. You should be able to monitor this on your PC as well under the Xbox app. Like I said, if you're a PC user, you may wanna check on the PC app and look for your console bonus on there and just play some games through the cloud if you wanna unlock this bonus each week. The only other thing I wanted to mention is the point differences. I know the rewards team had told us that we would be seeing a replacement streak for the one that was previously in the Xbox specific rewards app. I did want to mention, however, that the point totals are still lower here. So we used to earn 17,700 points per year using that streak. This streak will only result in 14,300 points. So this is overall about 3,400 points less than what we did earn in the old rewards app. So I would love it if they would consider boosting this up to around maybe 350 points instead of the 275 so that it matched what we used to get in the rewards app. But that remains to be seen if they will do that. 
And that is pretty much it for today in terms of the weekly console bonus and my thoughts on it. Please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this new console bonus? Will you be working on earning this one each week? How easy do you think it is? Do you think this is better or worse than the one that we had in the rewards app? And yeah, I look forward to hearing your thoughts. I do appreciate the Microsoft Rewards team and the loyalty team for adding this in and for letting us know about it. So that is pretty much it for today. I will have more guides coming out soon for the Tome series, for Achievement of the Week, and for my fictional Game Pass quest guides. If you all haven't checked that out yet, and if you used to enjoy all of the game-specific quests that were available in Game Pass, please feel free to check out the fictional Game Pass quests here on the Rewards Hunter channel. So I look forward to seeing you all in those future guides. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you want to stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.